Alright y'all, we've been getting a ton of requests to do a catch and cook, so the time is finally here. Jeff and I drove all the way down to the OBX just for y'all, yep. and we're gonna see how fast we can get on a fish, get back to the house, and fillet and cook. That's right, so <laughs> target species today, redfish, flounder, or trout, all those can make a great meal. We're gonna get out there, do some wade fishing. We just ran away from the storm behind us, and we've got a limited window of opportunity that mother nature is giving us. Yep, that's right. All right, y'all, can't wait to get out there, get on some fish, and fillet and cook. That's right. It's gonna All be right. great. See y'all out there on the water. being in the water check out Christie's get up <laughs> but you guys need to make sure you guys have uh, your handy dandy fish grabbers especially for uh, handling those fish properly and then hold on why don't we uh, you need to do a showcase model of what you have you gotta strut your stuff okay here we go yeah strut your stuff so here we have Christy sporting the new uh, waiters, the white water fly shop waiters with the out of place fly fishing net, but we're using it today for drum and flounder and trout fishing. That's right, sporting the Bass Pro fish grabbers and not to be outdone by the favorite rod right here in the pen clash. So that is the style uh, Christie 2K18. Setup. Any seven foot medium action rod will do. Yep. 3000 series reel. Yep, and right now on our main line we've got Brave and that's 20 pounds. attached to shoe 15 pound floral right here. Um, and then we've got a quarter ounce fish eye or a trout sure. eye right here. These things are deadly. And of course, as you guys know, we are we are uh, huge advocates of this Berkeley Gulp right there. And um, we stepped it up five in size incher. today. So that's a four. Five inch. That's a five inch right here? Yep. Dang. Went for five, five inch, inch on the quarter ounce. To get that big drum bite, you guys. Probably two and a half feet of leader line. It's better to start long with the leader line and then you can always shorten it up. It's pretty gnarly conditions out here. So the wind was absolutely horrible on this day. So I apologize about the horrible audio, but do want to give you guys a quick little synopsis of how we dial in these fish. We were just working this little estuary creek mouth. This is where I really like to target, you know, the drum, flounder, and trout. And that's why I love weight fishing, because check it out, picked up this fish right here in front of me. Come on. I got a fish. I think I got a flounder. I got some, guys. This dude's looking like it's pulling like a flounder. It feels like a pretty good size. I literally thought I was like stuck. Oh yeah, that's a good size flounder. Hey, can you come up here? Dang! This guy's a hoss. He's big. up for one of my pbs right there y'all yeah babe i caught him in probably like barely knee deep water and i thought that sorry the wind is probably horrible on this video but anyways christy and i are out here and we barely we, we were we were we were contemplating not even coming out today and uh we've been out for probably 15 minutes and that thing is a stud all right, you guys, time to do our catch and cook, and we just got to Publix Supermarkets. We're gonna head in. We're gonna be making fish tacos tonight uh, with the flounder that Jeff just caught, and Jeff is gonna be filleting it for us. I will be the sous chef tonight preparing. Does that smell like fish. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's, that's right. The smell of success, people. <laughs> All right, 
Here we go. This is kind of weird filming myself going to Publix, but. All right, lettuce. All right, you guys, first things first, we need some fresh produce. I will take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah! Look at that thing. Look, we got ice in his mouth. <laughs> All right, you guys, we finally just got home, back in the kitchen, and Jeff is going to um, start filleting this flounder. Fishbone Knives just sent us some awesome new knives we're going to be putting to the use for the first time right now. That's right. And uh, pretty stoked about it. That's right. So let's get right to it. We're we'll starting this catch and cook for you guys right now. This is our very first catch and cook. Yep. So cut first us some slack. Of many. <laughs> That's right. Okay, right. here we go. All right, y'all. So when you're filleting the flounder, uh, it's really important that you have uh, a good set of knives. Uh, it actually does make a huge difference. It's flounder is one of the easiest fish to fillet, but certainly when you have a good set of knives. Uh, I actually uh, was just sent these from Fishbone Knives here in actually Virginia Beach, but they're a massive online retailer and they deal with Dexter knives. And, uh, these knives really get the job done. So the first one that we're going to use, this is the serrated knife. And before we do this, just want to give you guys a quick anatomy of the flounder to um, best show you guys how to fillet the flounder. So as you can see for this flounder, you've got his two eyes right here. Now. Um, the flounder has his stomach, his belly is right here. You can actually feel right there. It's nice and soft. So the first cut that you're going to want to make is actually you, you want to maximize on the, on the amount of meat that the flounder has right up on the top. So you're going to come right down here, back behind the gill plate, and then you're actually going to come about straight across on the gill plate. You don't want to get over here because you can actually feel He's got all the stomach and intestines in there, so we don't really want that. So the first cut that we're gonna make is we're gonna use the serrated knife, and we're just gonna start up here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and come down, and then, like I said, once you get to here, you're just gonna pretty much come straight down. As you can see, you've got the stomach lining right in here. So that's the first cut that you wanna make. Okay, so the next cuts that we're gonna do is all we're gonna do is just use this uh, serrated knife to just simply cut into the flounder here. Just going around on the sides. Very easy. And then we're just gonna Again, just making a simple cut around the edges using this serrated knife just cuts very, very, very easy. Okay, so as you can see, we have more or less a basic outline here. You've got the stomach, which is, you know, in the bottom of the flounder. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make one more cut down the middle. Super easy right there. All right, y'all, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fillet knife, and I'd just like to start towards the back. Doesn't really matter where you start, I'm left-handed, so if, for all you right-handed people, you probably flip the fish around. Does not matter, the flounder is so easy. All you're gonna do is just you're gonna take your fillet knife and you're just gonna start cutting into <clears throat> that uh, first kind of uh, laceration that you made with the serrated knife. So you're just taking your uh, fillet knife and you're just going to fillet down as close as you can. And then once you get it peeled back, it's very, very easy. You're just going to keep working your fillet knife and just work this meat up off of the bone. So there we go. That's our first fillet right there. Once you get that first fillet off, it's very, very easy. But you do want to make sure that you find the right angle when you're cutting into the flounder. That way you can maximize the meat that you get up off of Mr. Flounder. And there we have the second fillet right there. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take the skin off of these nice fillets 
and that's very easy. We're going to start here on the thin side and just hold it down. Again, it's very important that you find the right angle with this. And these Dexter knives, they make this so easy. But you're just going to find that right angle so you can get as much meat right up off of that uh, skin. And all you're doing is you're just letting the knife really do all the work. And that right there, that is a beautiful flounder fillet right there. That's it. All you're going to do is you're just going to repeat that. Uh, you should get four fillets off of the flounder. All right, you guys, Jeff did an awesome job filleting these four fillets right here. And um, these are going to be seasoned with a couple different things. And these are kind of our staple if you guys are doing fish tacos. Uh, we keep it really simple, but it's going to have a lot of flavor, a lot of zest to it. So um, if you guys like fish tacos, definitely try out this recipe, especially for uh, you guys on um, the fly, if you guys are just trying to do a quick taco dinner. Um, all right, so what I usually use is paprika, cayenne pepper, salt, and pepper. Okay, y'all, keep it really simple. Four different seasonings right here. Um, so this is just paprika. And I am weird. I like to massage it in. Um, just make sure that you get it on the entire thing and then do both sides. All right, once you guys have that done, you guys want to kick on your pan. We're going to begin searing. So I usually put it in four and a half. You guys want that on like medium. And then go ahead and grab olive oil. And then I usually like to get that all around on the bottom of the pan. Definitely don't want to be burning my fillets. All right, so yeah, for these... You know, uh, just kind of cut it in half, and I like the squeeze method. I think it's the easiest, and you just kind of work that all over these, and give it just a minute for it to kind of start and heat up, and then while that's heating up, I'm going to be Jeff sous chef right now and kind of do all the prep. Uh, that way we can kind of start putting all of our taco seasonings together. What you're really looking for when you're um, when you've got them in the pan, is kind of that golden brown texture that kind of gives you the indication that they're about uh, fully cooked. And cook them about four to five minutes on each side on medium temp. Pro tip right now, uh, sriracha sauce from Wendy's is the bomb right. on this sauce. Wendy's, Wendy's got to holler It's that all about the sauce. toppings for your fish tacos. So we've not only got a smorgasbord of other stuff, you got to get your sriracha. This is key to having some bomb flounder tacos right now, you guys. So, Pro tip for y'all, thank us later. Um, so everything is done, this smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of prep these tacos and guess who's eating these tonight? Me, can I just take a second to say that I am the luckiest man in the world because not only do I have an amazing, awesome, beautiful wife who likes to fish, but she's cooking me dinner tonight. Look at this <laughs> bomb dinner. So shout out to my wife. You'll definitely want to look for that white flaky meat. Yeah. Oh, so good. So good. White flaky meat. Mm. All right, babe, how is it? Give me the verdict. Oh, it's the bomb. That is so tender. Oh, man. We just caught this fish probably like two hours ago, right in the Outer Banks. We drove up here to Virginia Beach to our house. And there it is. Last part, you guys. Sriracha. Creamy sriracha from Wendy's. That's right. This is the best Olive topping back. of them all. Babe, how much do you like? That's like a lot. That's, that's a, perfect. That's a hefty amount of sriracha. That's perfect. Y'all, that is the pro tip <laughs> right there. Fellas, if y'all trying to impress your lady, you're like, wow, would you like make this sauce? Wendy's. All right, show it off. All right, you guys. Here it is, right here. And this looks great. Jeff is about to devour this because I know he's starving. And it's 10.30 at night. And we just did this for you guys because I know a lot of our people, um, all of our viewers have been really requesting us to do a kitchen cook. So here you guys are. Wish you guys were here to try it with us. Um, Jeff will give us the verdict later on if they're any good or not. But I hope that they are. These, these <laughs> flounder fish tacos are going to be amazing. So... Mm -hmm. Especially Thanks, you guys, for watching. That's right, the Wendy's Sriracha Sauce. Yep. All right, you guys, leave us a comment below. Um, if you like this vid, definitely like it. And also, let us know what else you guys want to see for our next Catch and Cook, because this is just the first of many, right, babe? That's right. All right. First of many. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And get up off your butt and go catch some fish. Peace out. Bye, you guys.